Hey gang, how's it going? So I am continuing this new series. If you're new here to this channel, hi, my name is Lady and I love to dye my hair red. And I have started this new series where I dye my hair red and then after each wash, I show you how it looks. And I did that with Faria Deep Copper and I will link the playlist down below. And now I'm starting it with Faria Power Copper, <laughs> if I can get the box look correct. I dyed my hair Friday night this is now Tuesday and I have washed it and this is after one wash. You know when I originally dyed it I didn't get all the dye out of my hair which is typical with some of these red dyes and I think with many dyes it you know bled everywhere, it got on my towel. I purposefully sleep with a dark pillowcase just because it will, it will get all over the place. I wear dark shirts to bed when my hair is wet. This time while washing my hair, immediately once I put the water on it, even before shampoo, it was already starting to run a little, uh, there was a little orangey. And then when I put in the shampoo, a little bit more came out. It was kind of an orangey color. I believe the deep copper had more of a pink color to it. I do see that the saturation has gone down. It was quite bright. Yesterday I took some pictures of my hair and put it on Instagram and it was like so bright. So here is how the box says your hair should look and here is how my hair looks. I think my hair still looks a little redder, possibly a little browner. If you see here it's uh, not as bright and is orangey, but that's okay. I still like it. So what I do when I wash my hair, I just use regular temperature shower water. I don't use cold water. Cold water is better when you have red hair dye, and I think also when you have black hair dye. From what I hear, maybe with all hair dye, it's better to wash your hair with cold water. I don't like to do that, especially this morning. It was cold this morning, and so I had my shower temperature water was nice and toasty warm. And I just use regular shampoo and conditioner. I don't use the special shampoos and conditioners. I would like to eventually branch out and maybe try some Red Boosts shampoos and conditioners. I have considered possibly doing this for another round after this fades out uh, with the Nutricolor Boost that um, was recommended to me because I forgot to get it. <laughs> Many things are going on through my mind, but for now I'm again just doing this again with just regular shampoo and conditioner. I don't put any heat on my hair. I just let my hair kind of air dry or I sleep on it or whatever. I don't use the blow dryer. I don't use a curler, a straightener, anything like that. I think the most damage I ever really do to my hair is every morning before I go to the gym, I throw it up in a messy bun. The only products that I put in my hair are the only product that I put in my hair is L'Oreal Boosted High Lift Creation Spray. I spray it on my roots and then I spray it on my ends. And that's all that I do with my hair. Just kind of uh, just simple stuff. I just keep it simple with my hair. So that is it. If you have any questions or comments, oh, mm, I'll put a side by side of how my hair looks right after I dyed it so you can see and compare how it looks to today. I don't see much of a difference in, in, the, in the color. Like I, I think it was way more saturated right after I dyed it, but I think the color is still pretty much the same. And that is it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the flip. Bye guys.